Eric B's daily vlogs. We'll talk about this more on the other side of the break. So let's get this started. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Some place that I said I was gonna go hit that I haven't hit ever probably since i was a kid japanese tea garden you can see the line is long it did get the special residential rate which is free 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 if you're a san francisco resident um donated some money to just help out the japanese tea garden but we're going to go in there with all these people and go check out the japanese tea garden so let's go let's go there is a line we're going to go through this line I'm going to take my ticket off and show them that I didn't pay for anything. There are the prices, in case you guys are interested in going. And free for Golden Gate Park members, San Francisco residents with proof of residency, and children under four. All right, this is the map of the whole garden right here. We're going to try to make our way and do the right rule. So we're just going to keep sticking to the right and make our way this direction. The entrance alone is pretty cool and there is a lot of people here today. You can see there's a free tour and the colors of the flowers. I don't know if these are cherry blossoms because cherry blossoms are usually on trees, but this is a nice <laughs> little area. I always have an issue with people talking really loud, especially when I'm trying to video, but it is what it is. I'm in a public spot. People paid their money to come in here. So if they want to scream, that's totally fine. But this is the first time. I, I remember coming here when I was a kid. We did a field trip. I don't remember anything about that. But it's been pretty. It's been forever since I've been here. But we're going to check this place out. And I'm going to take you guys with me to see what they have here. Use caution crossing bridge and stones. They are not lying. Look at that. I gotta be careful when I'm walking across here. Luckily, it's just a little stream and a little pond. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. And look at all this cool stuff as well. Kinda makes you feel like you're in Japan. Not really. I feel like saying, we love bento. You guys, Watch the NS NHK channel. They do a bento show. And check out the gift store that they have in here. Let's see what stuff they have. You got some Buddhas. A little pricey on the Buddhas. You got some stones. You got some some chopsticks. If you guys want to get chopsticks, they have them here as well. Pretty cool. They also got mugs and cups if you're looking for any of these. This is the one I would get. The sumo one right there. The little Japanese dolls. Oh, would you like some And they got they got a whole bunch of cool things you can get. And they even got tea. So if you want some tea. You can get some tea. If you're hungry, there's a place to eat. The line's just as long as it is coming in, but there's a place to eat. Go check that out later. This almost gives you that feeling like you're in Japan, like a very touristy part of Japan. You get all these shrines, and then over there you have a little entrance to go through. And in the back, over there, you can see it in the red. They got the big pagoda 
We're going to head over there. They got the Buddha as well. We're going to head over there. The Buddha shrine right here. Very, very tranquil and peaceful looking Buddha right there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's cool. Very peaceful. Very tranquil. I'm definitely have to, gonna have to come back here on a non-tourist day because it's hard to it's hard to frame a shot. It's hard to get shots that you want. It's a lot of people there. I don't, you know, weather's been good the past couple days, and the weather's better today. So it took me forever to find parking, which normally here in Golden Gate Park I can find parking just like that. But hey, it's a part of San Francisco tourism. I'll take it. It's pretty cool. I enjoy it. There's a bridge over here, the one that goes over, the one that I remember when I was a kid getting in trouble for. We're going to hit that bridge in a minute, but we're going to go around the whole place and go check this area out. All right, going to go through this. I guess you could call this a pagoda. I think this is an eating area, so I think it doesn't go anywhere because there's tables. Oops, watch your step. So you can hang out over there, or you can make your way down this way. So I'm going to make my way down this way. Get more of the colorful, I don't know if this is a cherry blossom, but it's very vibrant everywhere you look. Just look at the colors over there. When cherry blossom definitely starts coming, which is in April, I can't, maybe that tree right there, that's naked, maybe that's a cherry blossom tree. I don't know. Maybe this is a cherry blossom tree. I don't know. I don't know what a cherry blossom tree looks like till it blooms. But there is a lot here to see. I'm gonna take this little cobblestone path. I'm not sure where it's taking us. Just hope this is not one of those haunted forests like they have in Japan. If you guys have ever seen the movie The Forest, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't do well with spirits speaking in my mic. Usually they do and the past couple vlogs they have been so I'm trying to stay away from all that spirit talking if you catch my drift this is kind of a creepy spot but it's a cool spot nonetheless it's a nice little area and this area that I'm at right now there's not that many people and it definitely feels like I'm in a Japanese forest but there's a pagoda that I want to go check out that looks like it's probably closed Looks like a Zen garden right there. More of the Zen garden right there as well. If you guys watch the TV series Shogun, there's a Zen garden scene that doesn't end well for an assassin. No spoilers, no spoilers. This is the Zen garden right there. And if you can read Japanese, you guys read the bottom. Went off the path, and I gotta walk through these cobblestone stones to make it across to the other side right there. I should have put this over water. Oh, squirrel, 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 squirrel. See the squirrel? He's right there, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Ah, oh, that squirrel has no fear. Look at that squirrel. There's no fear, it's just right there. It's a Japanese spirit. All right, as I walk around this bend and turn, you can see the big red pagoda. There's two of them. That one looks like it's a bridge over there. And this is the tall one, it's closed, so nobody can try to go over there and climb it. But that's cool. This definitely reminds me of what the pagodas the shrines that we didn't get to see when we went to Japan, only because we didn't know it was there. Here's another one right here. Smaller one. Then you got some rocks that looks like it's gonna be going somewhere soon. But you got that right there. Then two shrines right here. And as soon as we pan, you got the pagoda right there. 
it looked like at one point it was open because you see some stairs right over there and it looks like they closed it and again they're either fixing it because all those stones were on the side or they closed it because people don't know how to respect things now this is cool again first time that i've been here in years and i remember the last time i was here was probably in elementary school we took a field trip here and i was with a bunch of people just that just didn't know how to respect things like this so this is cool just to see this again and to share it with you guys it's even better all right gonna cross over this koi pond stony thing and i'm actually looking at the stones and not the camera but if you look in the pond right there, there is koi's in there. They're not moving, which is kind of uh, makes you wonder if they're real, but I'm more careful than walking over here. And as soon as we walk past this little area right here, you have a little waterfall right over there. This is a cool shot right here. This definitely looks like a scene from a movie and it, that closer pagoda to the left the way that foreshadows the big pagoda on the right from where I'm standing it looks like one giant pagoda but really it's just regular size that's cool right there it's a cool shot there's a waterfall right there the two pagodas in the background everybody's stopping here to take the picture I get it's a new it's a nice little money shot and you got the koi pond that I'm looking at right in front of me this is cool I'm definitely gonna come back here on a day where there's nobody here just so I can take photos and take videos all by myself this is probably my favorite view right here you have the waterfall almost kind of makes you feel like you're in here in Japan not really but almost I regret not coming here sooner and I've always been trying to come here I've been always trying to plan to come here but the cost is one thing and then somebody told me it's free for San Francisco residents just got to show proof of ID and then when I saw that I was like you know what I'm gonna take advantage of that and I am and if it was $18 just that view right there is probably worth $18 these are the stairs from the other side that I said is closed for now. But as soon as you get to the top, you got that nice grand view of the pagoda. There's a bridge over there that you can't cross. Looks like it's under construction, but there's the bridge, the crazy bridge over here that everyone's crossing. And guess what? So will I. We waited for people to go up and then photo bombers decided to take over. They were making everybody wait. People can't really wait, like a, so I'm going to go up. The angle is well designed. So it's just making sure you hold on to the rail, making sure your footing is right, and then making your way back down. But well, when you're up here, you got this nice view of the whole Japanese tea garden right there. But that right there, is going to be crazy going back down. Guess I'll go down this way. Ooh. Are you going to get me coming up? See the steps coming down. All right, I made it. That's a crazy bridge. It's pretty cool, but just crazy. All right, one last look. You get the food section over there. We came over from the Buddha up there. This is that bridge that people don't know how to wait their turns when it comes to taking pictures. People were just photobombing everybody. And we came in through that big pagoda up there in the distance. This has been a cool experience. Didn't get to explore a lot, but enough to share this with you guys. And it's been fun. All right, guys, that's going to do it from the Japanese Tea Garden here in San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. Cool, fun experience. Know before you go. It does get crowded. It does get busy. So plan ahead. They open at 9 a.m. So probably getting here at 9 a.m. when there's not that many people will be your best bet. 
This is around noon time that I'm here and it's crowded. I'm gonna let them pass because they're talking really loud. But it's it's one of those things where it's fun, it's a cool place to visit, but I'm definitely gonna come back here on a day where there's not that many people. Maybe like Monday through Friday they close. Last entry I think is at 5.30. So I can definitely get here before 5.30 and I'm gonna do another exploration by myself without anybody here and just check this place out but it is cool it's a cool fun experience because the prices vary depending on what you are San Francisco residents thank you it's free for us it's free for us but don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe leave comments down below let me know what you guys liked about this tour let's try to get this subscription up to 2,000 I'm getting closer it's definitely getting there um, it just kills me how people just don't know they see the camera right in front of my face and they're walking right into me even over there where I was trying to take pictures they're walking right in front of my pictures it's just like no common courtesy when it comes to these people but I get it they're tourists it's what they're here for <sighs> I'm winded thumbs up like comment and subscribe leave me comments down below here from Golden Gate Parks Japanese Tea Garden thanks for watching guys the vlog has ended go in peace Definitely a cool experience. Definitely coming back. And I'm going to do it when there's nobody there. I made this.